A North Carolina court gave the man convicted of killing Michael Jordan's father a favorable ruling, the first time since his conviction in 1996. WRL has closely followed Daniel Green's case. WRL's Amanda Lamb explains why this ruling gives him renewed hope. You know, you just get to the point where you're just not expecting anything positive in this case. You're not expecting things to go the way they should. No one is more excited about Daniel Green getting a second chance than his attorney, Chris Muma. I was emotional for Daniel because it's been so long since he's been since before he was arrested that anything positive has happened. Um, and uh, for his family. In 2020, a judge ruled that Green did not deserve another day in court to have new evidence heard in his case. Now the North Carolina Court of Appeals has vacated that ruling and kicked it back to the same judge for reconsideration. The court sent it back to the judge saying, you need to rethink this given precedent that if there are questions of fact on issues, um, you must hold an evidentiary hearing. He was excited. Everybody was excited. Everybody was excited. Former NAACP director, the Reverend Dr. T. Anthony Spearman, spoke to Green shortly after getting the news. Spearman has been one of Green's biggest supporters. I'm extremely hopeful, uh, extremely ho hopeful that uh, this, this will manifest itself as a breakthrough that is going to get him to uh, being heard. Green was convicted of killing James Jordan in 1993. His co-defendant, Larry Demery, testified against him. Green has admitted to helping Demery dispose of the body, but has always maintained that he is innocent of murder. No one believed him. No one took him at his word. Um, so, you know, this, as I said, it just seems to me that the question needs to be posed, what took so long? I spoke with Daniel Green. He tells me he's excited, hopeful, but most of all, he's grateful. Amanda Lamb, WREL News, Raleigh. WREL Studios recently released a 10-episode podcast on Daniel Green's story called Follow the Truth. More episodes are now in the works. You can find it wherever you listen to podcasts.